Hi everyone, today we will see how do you connect your workbench with Power BI. So let us start by connecting with the simple steps, the basic steps. So we'll also look into the errors, uh, what you might face and how will you clear those errors. So let's start off by opening up Power BI desktop. Click on get data. Click on more. Here you will find MySQL database. Click on that and connect. So this is the basic and very frequently asked questions that, you know, why are we asking to download so many connectors? The main reason is that you need certain connectors to uh, establish a connection between Workbench to Power BI. So let's see how do you get rid of this error from the scratch. Firstly, you need to open an app called as my SQL installer community. I've already opened it. So here, let's see how do you clear that error, right? So here, uh, basically you need to have server, which is very important for your workbench to run as well as uh, for establishing the connection. So firstly, uh, the category is where people forget their passwords. Okay. So when you forget your password of MySQL server, you need to reinstall it again. So in order to do that, we will click on remove and we'll uninstall it. Or if you are already having a server in it, but you forgot your password, still you need to remove it and continue to reinstall again. So let's start by doing that steps. So I'm in uninstalling the server. Okay. Um, so if I execute this, so basically why are we doing this is, while connecting with Power BI, you need to enter your credentials that you have given while installing server. So it is very mandatory for you to reinstall it again and remember the password this time. So click on finish. Now I'm going to add MySQL server again. In order to do that, this is the general MySQL uh, steps that you might have learned so far. So click on. I'm going to put this this the other side click on execute right so now it shall ask us a password so make sure that you remember this password for your future references also as it is very important Just click, keep click, uh, clicking on next and click on execute. After you install this, make sure you open your workbench and cross check if you know your server is established well. Right, so click on finish. Next, finish. So as you can see, the server is added back with the password this time. So I'm gonna open my workbench and just in case to check if everything is working as expected and one more thing is that once you remove your server and add it back all the data which was stored before will vanish so you need to import the data again so you need to import all your of all of your databases again so your username will be root and password will be the one which i just entered okay right so here if you see I just have the by default database and all of the other databases that I was working earlier has not, uh, everything has basically vanished, right? So I'm going to import our database again. So, okay, I'm going to just show you with a basic database, our own NIG clone. So I'm going to execute this again. So now that the database is imported. Okay. Right. So I'm going to refresh. Right. Okay. Now I will connect IG clone with Power BI. Okay. Now that we have seen the general steps. Okay. So let's go to our Power BI. Once let's close this because we also need to install another uh, very important connector. 
okay so that will be our product archives so open your google chrome and this is the link that you need to come and download to navigate to this link i'll show you from the scratch open mysql.com click on downloads mysql community downloads here you'll find download archives here you need a dotnet connector so i'm going to click on that so we have redirected to the same link that i've shown you earlier so here you need to download the 20th version that is the older version so i'm going to click on download right okay so after you download this we'll try to connect with power bi we shall get rid of that error right okay so right okay click on next click on complete and install This might take some time. Okay. So we have also connect uh, downloaded our first uh, main connector that is the .NET. If we still face the issue, let's try to implement some other steps as well. Let's see accordingly. Now I'm going to open my Power BI. Right. So like I've mentioned earlier as well, the basic steps, you need to click on get data. Click on get data, more, MySQL database, click on connect, right. So if you see that error is gone now, which we have solved using and following some steps. So if you see here, it's asking us server and database. Now here you need to enter your local host and port numbers. Okay. Along with that, the database name that you wish to connect. Okay. So how will you know that? So the server number will be your host name. Okay. I'm going to copy this. Paste. Give us semi colon or colon. That's my colon. And then uh, you will give the port number, okay? Right. Now, the database name is also very important. You should make sure that it is written just as how it is imported in your database, in your MySQL workbench. Even a little grammatical mistake will not uh, fetch the data. So come back to your... Um, local instance here if you see we have the underscore as well right so it will also consider the same so make sure that you enter the correct spellings okay so okay and i'm going to click on okay right now here you need to select or use alternate credentials because uh, here we are trying to connect with the server, right? So you can also try using the database section as well. So for now, let's try with database uh, IG clone, which I'm trying to connect. So I'm trying to connect with the server and the database that we have entered earlier. So username for everybody by default, it will be root. Okay. And here is the password that I have entered while installing my MySQL server, right? I've showed you. So I'm going to enter that and click on connect. So 
So yeah, here is how you connect with the database. So if you see, I have loaded all of the tables, everything, whatever was in the database, you can see everything here. Accordingly, you can also select and deselect whatever tables you want to load it in Power BI. And then, for example, I want to load follows, comments and likes. I'll choose that and click on transform data. So it will take me to my Power Query editor. From here, you can do your manipulations, data cleansing, data transformation, everything accordingly. So hope this video was very helpful. Um, I hope it has solved most of your problems. Thank you.